2024 is officially here. Whether you had a successful 2023 or not, it's time to put the past in the past and focus on the year ahead. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys how to smash all your goals and literally live your best life. If you're feeling unmotivated or you simply just don't know where to start, stick around because I'll be giving you all the best tips and tricks. The first and the most important thing that you guys need to do is change your mindset. The major block that stops you from achieving your goals is your mindset. You need to change your mindset and make yourself believe that you are capable of doing anything, you are capable of achieving your dreams and you are capable of achieving your goals. Make sure not to set boundaries for yourself and truly believe that you can do anything because then you are setting yourself up for success. Tip two, learn to love yourself. As hard as it can be, you need to learn to be truly content with who you are. If you were to ask me one year ago, am I truly content with who I am? My honest answer would have been no. And now with my a simple change in mindset in believing that I am worthy and beautiful and so is everybody else around me I can proudly say that I am happy with who I am you should think these positive things about yourself too because they are true if even after thinking these good things about yourself it's still hard for you to truly love yourself I'm just going to read to you guys a few things that can help you love yourself more the first thing you can do is accept compliments. It's natural as humans to just hear somebody say a compliment and think they're just trying to be nice. But nine times out of 10, if somebody compliments you, they mean it. They're not just gonna go out of their way to go and tell you something good about yourself if it's not true, unless they are actually a really mean person. But usually the compliments that you get are true. You should also stop negative self-talk. If you talk negative, you're gonna think negative. And if you think negative, you're gonna be negative. Another thing that can help with self-love is maintaining a healthy lifestyle. When you maintain a healthy lifestyle, you're just overall happier, you boost your mood and you'll feel better about yourself because you know that the things that you do in your life are good for you and your body. And finally, invest in self-care. Now this is one you have to be careful with because you do not want to spend all your money on self-care products. But investing in self-care can simply mean just wearing clothes that you feel confident with even if they're not the fashion trends right now. Tip number three, find hobbies that you actually enjoy. I actually got this tip from a Better You podcast by Fernando Ramirez. She spoke about how to find hobbies that you enjoy and the benefits of doing them. She basically just spoke about how hobbies can make you feel better and they can also help with your social skills. So I guess hobbies can help you when you're talking to people because you'll have something to talk about. Tip four is to be happy. Being happy is a lot more important than you think. When I say be happy, I want you to just try and maintain overall happiness in your life. When you feel like you're about to get stressed, I really want you to think, what is the point of getting stressed about this? Instead, think of ways that you can work around that stress with a calm and collective approach. Some things that have personally helped me be a happier person include writing gratitudes because when we write down the things we're grateful for it helps us notice the little positive things in our life also surround yourself with people who make you feel happy if you're leaving your group of friends feeling worse than you did when you went to them that's probably not a good sign the next tip is that it's a marathon not a sprint this is something that my dad tells to me all the time and it is so true so let me explain to you guys what it means okay so let me put it this way in school you're in school for six whole years you get good grades and then you suddenly have one bad grade. That one bad grade is not going to affect your whole school career because school is not just a fast sprint. It's a long marathon that is going to take a lot of time to complete. Tip number six, have routines for everything. Routines are going to change your life. A simple example is having an after school routine. When you come home from school, you have lots of different things to do unpack your lunchbox, pack your lunchbox, homework, clubs. That's why you need to have a clear routine for yourself so you know what you need to do and when you need to do it. This is the same thing that goes for having a to-do list. If you don't have a to-do list, I don't know what you're doing. Literally pause this video right now and write down the things you have to do for the rest of the day. Make sure that when you're creating your routine, it's specific to you. Like for instance, for me, after school on Mondays, I have netball and then the rest of the week, I don't have netball. So my after school routine on Monday is different to every other day of the school week. Okay, so the next tip I have for you is to have a clear idea of what you want your future self to look like. A really great way to do this is to kind of make a little Q&A and answer it as if you are the best version of yourself. I actually did this a while ago and I'll just read out to you guys the sort of things that I wrote. So I started off with doing some shadow work, which is kind of a reflection on how I'm doing at that present moment. And then after, I just asked myself a few questions and answered as my future self. 
I wrote down what were her lifetime goals, how does she dress, what happens in her free time, what are her achievements and who does she spend time with. This way I've kind of built this idea of what I want myself to be and I can just fake it till I make it. Next is to schedule activities that you enjoy during the week. The reason that you should do this is because you're not just living your life to be bored and upset doing schoolwork all the time, you need to find ways to enjoy yourself. If this means getting into bed earlier so you can read your book or waking up earlier so you can do yoga before school, then do it because you're just going to feel so much better. Now I do understand that sometimes we can have really busy weeks in school and we don't have time to relax as much as we usually do, but that's why you have the weekends. Just remember that the weekends are a time for you to reset and get yourself ready for the new week. You've probably seen these videos everywhere on YouTube and TikTok by now, but it's basically an edit where people show the nice, healthy, productive side of their life and then after they show when they're having fun with their friends and chilling out and they say you can't have this productive life without having this chill and fun life. That's so true because balance is so important. Tip number nine, I think we're on, is to listen to your body. Your body literally tells you everything you need to know about yourself. If you're feeling tired, even though you slept well, and you're feeling hot, even though you're not really that hot, wait, that doesn't make sense. If you're feeling tired, oh my gosh. Uh. Tip number nine, listen to your body. If you're feeling tired, even though you slept for 10 hours and you're feeling hot, even though the room that you're in is cold, it's probably a good sign that you're not feeling well and your body needs some rest. If your body needs rest, take that rest. If there's no homework due the next day, I want you to chill out, relax, and let yourself recharge. The final tip that I have for you to becoming the best version of yourself is to know that your time is precious. For example, if there's a girl in your class who says she's your friend, but she doesn't treat you with respect and she doesn't value you, well then you need to cut her out of your life because your time is precious and you can't waste your time on other people who don't respect you, don't lift you up and are not benefiting you in any way. Also remember that there are only 24 hours in a day of which eight hours you spend sleeping and six hours you spend at school. If you're spending four hours on your phone, then that's already 18 hours of your day used up and you really don't have that much left. So maybe rethink how you spend your time. That's the end of the tips I have for you guys today, but now it's time to move on how to set effective goals. When you're setting your goals, there are three fundamental things that I want you to think about. Why am I doing this? How am I gonna do this? And when am I gonna do this? Once you answer these three questions, you have a clear outline of if this goal is worth doing. For example, if you wanted to read 24 books in a year, you could say, how am I gonna do this? You're gonna read two books in a month. When are you gonna do this? By the end of this year. And why are you doing it? Because you wanna improve your vocabulary and increase your reading speed. That pretty much concludes this video. I hope this has benefited you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be posting some more content soon, so stay tuned.